All right, we're going to run a few video series on some lifts and how to take a look at how to do them and then also make some corrections around doing them incorrectly for my dad's strong blog. And so I can put these on there. This, we're going to talk about the press today. And this is a big one because a lot of people struggle with getting their arms in a good position to press out of. So I'm going to grab my bar here. So I'll be doing some pressing in a bit. More like tutorial kind of things. Because if you're going to follow along, you might as well make sure you're doing things right. So, we're going to get our hands. So if we're going to press, the first thing we need to be able to do is get our hands just outside the shoulders. Elbows tucked in a little bit. This creates a nice stable platform for you to press off of. It's important as we get this shoulder into flexion, which means anytime we're coming up this way, it's important to get this external rotated position. So if my elbow is straight, it would mean like if I was grabbing a shirt and twisting it like this. We need to make sure our hands can be in that same position where we're going to press. If we can get there, <clears throat> if we get in that position before we press, it makes it easy to be in a proper stable shoulder position overhead. Because the stable overhead position is fully flexed, fully externally rotated, like if I had a hammer in my hand I was bringing it down. The only way to get there overhead properly and safely is if you start externally rotated down here. The problem we see is a lot of people are real stiff and tight in the shoulder, and so they'll have their hands in close to their shoulders and their elbows out like this when they go to press. Now, you're in a little bit of flexion, but you're internally rotated. This is not a stable position for the shoulder, and to get that overhead, you're then going to have to try to find a tight position, but typically what we see is people leave those elbows flared out, shrug the shoulders up, and they impinge their shoulder over and over. What we really need them to do is have to be able to have their hands over here. So when they press, all they have to do is straighten the elbow. So that butt stays tight, take that breath in, you see my sweet puffy vest expand a little bit, breathe in, squeeze that stomach, press overhead, and then we're already in a stable shoulder position, okay? So, if you can't get in that shape, what I want you to do is just use dumbbells until you can work on stretching that open. I want to show you something. If you have a slingshot, which you should if you're a dad, because your shoulders are probably beat up, you can really need to use one of these. Here. Grab the other one. Here we go. A lot of uses of the slingshot, and we'll, I'll get into this later. But, what I like to do with it, throw it on people that have really stiff shoulders and see how the elasticity in it forces them to be in that externally rotated position. So, I can get them to rest the bar <coughs> on their shoulders and work on creating that rotation necessary to get those shoulders in a good shape to start. So they can, oh man, <sighs> wow. It's intense. They can work their hands out and work on lifting one elbow at a time. Bring them in as they're comfortable. You can't press with this on because your face will hit the slingshot. But that is one of my all-time favorite ways for people that are struggling with getting in that front rack position to help loosen it up. So I'll have them mess with wearing the slingshot just to stretch it out. Do their overhead work with dumbbells so they don't have to worry about trying to create the rotation of the barbell while they're loosening this up. Because <clears throat> your press is only as good as your front rack, and if you, are in, if you don't have a good front rack shape, you'll never be able to get overhead well. So, for those of you guys who've got those stiff, tight shoulders, if you've got one of those, great. If you don't, uh, using like some big, stiff bands to wrap around the elbows works pretty well too. But, in the end, if you're a dad and you like to lift weights, Especially if you like to bench, or press, do dips, you need to get yourself a slingshot. How much you bench out net?
I don't get anything from them. I just think they're awesome. So, best of press. Take it easy.